Hey everybody, Tom Terriams with the FujiNet Project and an upcoming build of the config software and the web interface will now allow you to mount disk images directly from the web interface. Now this is the first pass of functionality. I will be adding more functionality in the next few days as well. So maybe over the next couple of builds you will see the functionality here increase. But for now this is what we can do. If you look at the FujiNet web admin, which you can get to uh, by going to your FujiNet's host name, mine is Tom, so I just literally go HTTP colon slash slash Tom, and I'm presented with uh, the web configuration interface. Uh, you've seen it before, and if you haven't, here it is. But you'll, for those of you, for those of you who have seen it, you'll see that there are some new things that have been changed here ever so slightly. If we look over on the left hand side of the screen, we will see now that the host names themselves now are links. We can take and select them. And by selecting them, you now have the ability to take and select disk images directly from your, uh, directly from the web here and mount them. You can traverse your folders, and once you find something that you need, you take and select it, and you get the opportunity to take and mount it into the drive slot of your choice. Once this is done, you will see everything updates, and voila, we are now mounted right here. We can conversely go ahead and take and eject and do the opposite. Now, um, a couple of things. Firstly, if a cassette image is selected, let's say, for example, over here in FujiNet.online, a uh, cassette is selected, it will automatically take and mount the cassette into device slot number eight. Also, if every single slot is ejected, and your config boot disk is enabled, then it will automatically remount the config, device, config disk into drive slot one. This is to give you a usable configuration, and if you don't want this, you can disable the config boot disk. So, I mean, with that, uh, I think that'll be a welcome addition for most. Uh, I will be adding some additional functionality, such as being able to take and to enable read and or write for a particular image directly from the web interface. And I will be adding uh, the new disk and copy disk functionality into the web admin interface too. But I figured I'd go ahead and get this pushed into master so we can get this out to a build to get this into as many hands as possible. So with that, I'll take and end this video here. And until next time, guys, have fun.